The proposed comeback fight of Victor Ortiz against IBF junior middleweight champion Carlos Molina is off. The IBF would not sanction this fight due to Ortiz suffering two straight stoppage losses, plus having not fought in over 14 months. The bout was supposed to be a co-feature on Golden Boy's planned December 14th pay-per-view card headlined by Adrian Broner against Marcos Maidana. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? You know, what's right is right, what's wrong is wrong. As much as I would have loved watching Victor Ortiz's comeback against Carlos Molina on a pay-per-view card that really needed a strong co-main event, and this would have been that, I couldn't help but think, how is it possible for a guy to, to lose two fights consecutively in a row? Very decisive losses, okay? How could he possibly lose two fights and then come right back in and fight for a title? Like I said before, as much as I wanted to watch this fight, I have to admit, this is the problem with the sport of boxing. I mean, do you know what you have to go through to make it to the gold medal match in boxing Olympics? Do you know what you have to go through to make it all the way to the Super Bowl in the NFL? This is the type of approach that we are supposed to be taking in the sport of boxing if we want our sport to be taken as serious as real professional sports. Okay, now let's go ahead and talk about Canelo Alvarez. Now, after Canelo Alvarez lost to Floyd Mayweather very decisively, he somewhat received a consolation prize of losing to the best fighter of his era. So it wasn't really that bad to lose to Floyd Mayweather. Especially when the media and everyone else is hyping you as being the future of the sport. Okay? Now, this is the thing. When you are being hyped up as being the, the next great thing in the sport of boxing, it puts a lot of pressure on you. You have to prove that you are the next best fighter out there below Floyd Mayweather. Now, the question is, how do you do that? Okay, you just lost to Floyd Mayweather. Now you got to get back on your feet. Now you have to prove to people that you still are a great champion. You still are a great fighter. How do you prove that? Well, after Canelo lost to Floyd Mayweather, a lot of people, including Floyd Mayweather, and I think originally even Golden Boy, wanted to make Canelo versus Carlos Molina. After all, Canelo Alvarez, he just lost his title championship belt. Both of them, right? Now, at the, in the, on the same night, you have Carlos Molina winning the championship in Canelo's division. Now, of course, Carlos Molina is already offering Canelo a shot at his title. So this means that Canelo Alvarez, he has an opportunity to become champion once again. So you have to ask yourself, why would he turn that down? Why would he reject an opportunity to gain a championship belt back. See, like I said before, I believe that Golden Boy, they wanted to make Canelo Alvarez versus Carlos Molina. And I truly believe that Team Canelo and Canelo Alvarez himself, they said, you know what? We need to take it slow, guys, because Carlos Molina is pretty tough. What if we go in there and we lose to Carlos Molina? That would be two losses in a row. Our reputation of, as, as being the future of the sport would be completely shattered. Okay? This is what I truly believe that Team Canelo thought about when they got offered a chance to fight for Carlos Molina's title. L let me tell you something, guys. You're not going to want to hear this. But this is not the mark of this future great champion that people are talking about. Carlos, if, if Canelo Alvarez was a great fighter, a great champion, Carlos Molina would be an easy stepping stone for him to just walk right over. We already know what would happen if Floyd Mayweather were to fight Carlos Molina. Matter of fact, Carlos Molina is so far away from being on Floyd Mayweather's level that Floyd wouldn't even be able to tell people that he's taking that fight next with a straight face. 
Because people will be shaking their damn head because the expectations are set so high for Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather cannot fight a Brandon Rios. It'll be considered a joke of a fight. But Manny Pacquiao can fight someone like that because Manny Pacquiao is not looked at as being on the same level as Floyd Mayweather. Okay? So back to Canelo Alvarez. For the very strong Canelo Alvarez supporters, we know what they said when Floyd Mayweather beat him. What did they say? They said, oh, you know, Canelo Alvarez, he wasn't ready. He was too young and didn't have the experience. Now, and I just explained to you guys the ridiculous double standards that we get in the sport of boxing. Okay, when Canelo Alvarez is 14 years younger than Floyd Mayweather, and Floyd Mayweather is in his late 30s, people are giving excuses to the younger, fresher guy. They're saying, oh, he was young, but he was too young. When Marquez loses to Tim Bradley, even though Tim Bradley is 10 years younger and Marquez is obviously 10 years older, who are they giving the excuse to? They're giving the excuse to Marquez, saying that now he's old, even though he just beat Manny Pacquiao in the biggest win of his career at the same age. Okay, so we know what time it is. But back to Canelo Alvarez. For people to say that Canelo Alvarez, he's not, he wasn't ready for Floyd Mayweather, you have to sit over here and you have to ask yourself, okay, he's not ready for Floyd Mayweather, even though that's a ridiculous excuse. How are you going to tell me he's not ready for Carlos Molina? They have the same experience. How is he not ready for Laura? How is he not ready for a rematch with Austin Trout? Which would seem to make sense. It was a very, very close fight in a very, very controversial state to make the fight in, Texas. See, it doesn't make sense. The problem with the sport of boxing, as I always say, people are emotionally attached to their favorite fighters. They want to build this man up to be the future of the sport because a lot of people, they look at Canelo Alvarez and they dream of him being the poster boy of uh, boxing, but it doesn't work that way. You have to put in the work. And no matter how much you try to set this man up for greatness, only his ability and skills are going to push him up that mountain. Hype won't do the job. All right? Canelo Alvarez would have never been ready for Floyd Mayweather. I find it ironic that you can have so many excuses for why people lose to Floyd Mayweather. Okay? If the guy is the same age as Floyd Mayweather, oh, maybe he didn't have the, the speed. If he has the speed, oh, maybe, uh, you know, he was um, old and past his prime. If he's younger, oh, you know, maybe he was too young. If he's just the right age, speed, power, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, you know, he didn't train the last two days before the fight. It's always going to be an excuse until they get the guy that they want to be on the top of the mountain, which will fucking probably never happen. And if it does happen, that guy will be on the top for a very, very brief time until another guy that you don't like comes along and beats him decisively okay Canelo Alvarez has opportunities to prove that he's the big star but is he going to take those opportunities see this is the whole thing like I said I thought that that would just be the natural next step for Canelo Alvarez to go fight Carlos Molina get your belt back it even surprised me when Canelo Alvarez didn't respond back to uh, Carlos Molina and say, that's my next fight, or I'm thinking about that fight. You know, for all we know, now because of this situation with uh, Victor Ortiz, you know, his um, title shot being derailed because, you know, for the first time, or, or one of the first times, uh, we have the boxing organizations that's basically saying, this guy does not deserve a title. Uh, you know, Canelo Alvarez, he just might be pressured into fighting Carlos Molina now because that fight is out. But when I seen Victor Ortiz being matched up with Carlos Molina, which, like I said, I like that fight, I said, so wait a minute. 
So who is Canelo Alvarez going to fight? Because we know he ain't going to fight Laura. We know he ain't fighting Trout in a rematch. We know he's not going to fight the, the Charlo twins or anybody like that. We know he's not going to do that. So who is he going to fight? He's out of the loop. This is what I'm thinking. And then it dawned on me and I said, oh, okay. Now I see what's going on. They're trying to protect Canelo like they have always done. See, Golden Boy and Team Canelo, they knew that if they were to lose to Floyd Mayweather, they really had nothing to lose other than some diehard Mexican fans who love the shit out of Canelo really thinking that Canelo had a chance breaking their damn heart, you know, and shooting and killing each other over the loss. Like, as you guys seen, I uploaded on one of my videos actually happened on the news. You know, other than that, Canelo knew that he really didn't have too much to lose. It wasn't really a major setback to lose to the best fighter of his era. All right. But losing to Carlos Molina is a major setback for Canelo Alvarez. So they knew this. So what they tried to do is they tried to protect Canelo and have everybody else like they always do, have everyone else surrounding Canelo to fight the tough guys, right? Lara has to fight Matarosian. Now, Demetrius Andre is going to fight Matarosian, okay? K-9 Bundrich fought Ishe Smith. Carlos Molina fought Ishe Smith. Now, Victor Ortiz was supposed to fight Carlos Molina. And who is Canelo Alvarez fighting through all of this shit? Before the Austin Trout fight, oh, he's fighting Jose Josito Lopez. He's fighting Matthew Hatton, Ryan Rose, Alfonso Gomez. Basically, what it looks like is they're going right back to the old Canelo ways. They are trying to they are trying to protect Canelo because he is very fragile. Okay. Put extra bubble wrap in the box and handle his ass with care. This is what Team Canelo is saying. This is what Golden Boy is saying. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. Canelo Alvarez is a good fighter. He is just a good fighter with flaws. He's going to have problems with a lot of fighters. He is mainly going to have problems with very good pressure fighters. He's very lucky that Ruslan Provotnikov is not a natural junior middleweight because that is the type of pro person, or fighter I should say, excuse me, that would give someone like Canelo all the problems in the world. Because Canelo is kind of like, you guys, you know, for my guys who play video games, you know the video games where you have an energy bar, and when that energy bar fills up, you could throw like a super, a super punch, or you could do a super move, right? But when the energy bar goes down, you have to take your time and you have to wait till it fills back up. That's the way Canelo Alvarez fights. He fights in spurts. When that energy bar is full, he'll throw this beautiful hard punch combination. And soon as his energy bar goes down, he backs up, he holds you, he waits till that energy bar fills back up. So it's a, see, a pressure fighter, he won't allow you to take breaks and take spurts off, take, take minutes off in the round. He's going to keep coming, keep coming. And then eventually break your ass down like Alvarado did. Alvarado was forced to quit. Okay? So, uh, you know, Canelo Alvarez is a good fighter. But he has his flaws. And like I said before, he would have never been ready for uh, Floyd Mayweather. And the future will tell us that. Because if let's say if Canelo is going to be ready in the future, then that means he's going to be able to dominate the, the entire 154-pound division. Okay, he's going to be able to run through everyone. And by the time he's 23 now, right, by the time he gets 25, 26, he should be pound for pound. Number two, number three, best fight in the world. The only blemish he has on his record is Floyd Mayweather. But guys, I doubt that that would be the case because eventually Canelo is going to have to step up again. And as we've seen him step up against Austin Trout, he's barely, barely won that fight. Some people don't even believe he won the fight. A lot of people believe the fight could have been a draw. And that's coming from that's coming from Latino fans. That's coming from Latino boxing trainers. 
Latino boxer. The bottom line is they were trying to protect Canelo because he is very fragile, but guess what? Victor Ortiz is fragile as well. So why don't they go ahead and let Canelo fight against Victor Ortiz? 